What's up, Raf gang? It's Raf in the Raf cave. Now, this is video is for maybe you can help out some streamers out there that want to get the highest performance and quality out of their monitor and their Elgato capture card. So, I'm going to flip the camera and I'm going to show you my setup and what I do, and hopefully, I'll be able to get even higher resolution while I'm streaming gaming for you guys. All right, let's check it out. All right, guys. So, as you know, I have two 8K TVs. I have the TCL 65-inch 8K, and I have the Samsung 65-inch 8K. Now, the Samsung can go as high as 144 hertz, which is incredible, right? So right now, I'm at 4K at 120. Um, and if, just to show you here, that's all I got, right? 100 and 120, that's it. Now, the idea is to get 144 to show up here. The reason why I cannot do that it's because I'm a streamer, all right? So out of my computer, uh, I want to stream to Elgato. And the thing is, is my receiver, my amazing Denon uh, 3800H, incredible. It can go 4K at 120. That's the most it gets, right? 8K is at 60, 4K the max is 120. Hence why you see that, right? Okay. But my amazing Samsung, this beast of a control box can can take 144, right? And I want to get that. Because for my gaming PC, it can definitely go up to 144 with this incredible RTX 5090, which I love dearly. <clears throat> so, what I do is... Uh, Alright, I'm going to have to go in the back of the, uh, of the system. Hold on. Alright, guys. Pardon the mess. I'm not going to maintenance all this, so... Yeah! Alright. So, out of my computer, I go out into the back of the Denon and then out of the Denon into my really nice 4K 120 splitter which goes out into the TV and out into the Elgato 4K uh, 60 Pro. All right, so I cannot do 120 because obviously the receiver can only go up to 120 hertz 4K. So that's the max. Okay. Now, my final solution that I'm going to try. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bypass the Denon and go through a 4K switcher. This switcher here is the Ugreen uh, up to 8K switcher, right, 8K60. But it can go up to 240 hertz with the 4K. So what I'll do is run my... PC, PS5 Pro, PC, and then I have two other slots for whatever else. Also, I'm going to upgrade my HDMI cable. Now, I know HDMI 2.1 is rated very highly and it's got great gigabits per second. But for some reason, some don't go up to 144 hertz. So I want to take a risk. So I, I looked on Amazon and made sure that the, the HDMI cables I'm, I'm, I'm buying are spec to go up to 144 hertz. So what I chose was the very inexpensive JS Aux HDMI cable. I got two six footers, four six four six footers. And now this is the this is the the last hope of this. Uh, this I've tried already two splitters that supposedly say they go up to 144 and it's been a mess. So go fun co, you are my last hope. This is a two-port uh, two splitter, and this one here says it supports 4K at 144 hertz if you are in the EDID copy mode, okay? So that's important. So the, the EDID copy mode is when you press this button right here. You put it into copy mode, which uh, supposedly uh, will allow 4K at 144 outputs when you're into copy mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in from the switcher that can pass 4K 144 into the splitter, make sure it's in copy mode, and go out 4K 144 to my Samsung TV and 4K 144 
into the Elgato. So I'm bypassing the Denon altogether, and hopefully this will allow me to split the splitter. EDID copy mode. All right, guys, so I'm going to hook it all up, and uh, hopefully this works. Be back in a, in a bit. Hey right, guys, one thing I forgot to tell you is uh, show you is the uh, Elgato. So the Elgato um, software is the 4K capture utility. And right now it's showing, of course, my, my main computer going through it with the splitter. But most importantly, right, it's going at 120 hertz HDR. So the idea is to see 2160p 144 HDR, right? That's the ultimate goal. That way I can stream or I can play games at 144, but also capture up to 4K 144. So that's the, that's the grand plan. All right, be right back. All right, Raf gang. So update of my situation about the um, 144 hertz splitter. So all the stuff that you saw on the table, I hooked it up. And guess what? It did not work. It was it was absolute trash. I couldn't get VRR. I couldn't get 144 on both. I switched back and forth and switched this and that. Switched cables. Didn't matter. It did just wouldn't work. Even tried going through the Elgato 4K Pro, where the in and out so it passes through. It wouldn't even pass through. I did get 144 in obviously because it's going to accept it, but it won't even pass the same thing out. To my tv it, it downgrades it it degrades the quality so elgato you gotta fix your pass through so that being said i just said screw it i'm done i'm not going to attempt to get 120 or 144 hertz uh playing games and be able to stream because i want to stream that's the whole point of the raft gang pc and the raft gang area when i play high quality games and then high gra graphics i want to give it to you i want to share it with you guys so that was my whole thing. I wanted to get the most out of my Samsung TV, 144 hertz, and be able to stream 4K 60 for you guys. It didn't work, so I was going to say, all right, fine, I'm just going to go to 120 and just be done with it. So I was playing Dying Light, uh, Dying Light uh, 1, the, the remastered or refreshed version, and play, start playing that, talked about the story of it, talked about the injury of my arm, which is healing, by the way, and thank goodness. Um, and then along my chat... One of my RAF gang uh, 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 watchers, Artemis, suggested that you know he's playing his game at 5K and a two, you know 165 hertz or whatever it is, and I'm like, well, how are you doing that in streaming? And he's like, well, I project it. You know, I project it onto my other OBS. So he has two PCs, both have OBS, and he's projecting it, so he's able to enjoy the maximum quality on his main TV while still streaming. So I was like, how the heck you do that? And, he says it's easy. Look online, some some guides and stuff. So I was like, all right, fine. I looked up the guides, and lo and behold, there's a way to do it. All right, let me show you. Right, right. Look at that 144. Eek. OBS. What are you seeing? So now, <laughs> I have achieved it. I have achieved transmitting my main setup, my main gaming on 144 to maximize my TV, my Samsung 8K, 4K, 144 HDR with VRR, and still be able to live stream to my Raf Gang Nation in 4K 60 absolutely awesome it is achieved and i'll show you the controller here look at that response time it's slight just a smidge delay not even much but to be able to play at 144 and maximize my my main monitor and still be able to live stream for you guys is absolutely awesome so artemis thank you so much for the tip got it working so now i can fully enjoy the best graphics of pc gaming and be able to stream for my raft gang nation thanks for watching this video guys like subscribe share and i'll see you in the next live stream which will be always very soon raf out see ya bye eve